Hello everyone and welcome to another Cheeky Scientist blog highlight video. I'm Isaiah Henkel. I'm really excited about today's blog because it talks about five forgotten aspects of a PhD level job search. What are those five things? Number one, it's going to come down to company culture. Okay? Too many PhDs forget to inquire about company culture. They forget that it's even important. Some don't even know what it is. Uh, career trajectory. Great, you're getting into this job. Where are you going to go in a year? Things move much faster in industry. Uh, you know, it's not going to be five years or ten years till you get your first promotion, I hope. So where can you go? Is, it, is, it a, is there no trajectory? Is it completely flat? Once you get this job, you can't go anywhere? Or are there multiple positions you can move to vertically as well as laterally? You need to consider this. Uh, compensation. You know, what are you getting paid and is it actually what you should be paid? As PhDs, very often we'll accept jobs that are $20,000 or more less than what somebody else would get in that same position even without a PhD because we're used to coming from a, a very limited academic background where we're getting a stipend or we're getting a postdoc pay that's awful, <laughs> right? Uh, maybe you're getting a stipend that's less than $20,000 a year. Maybe you're a postdoc less than thirty, dollars less than $40,000 a year. I mean, the national average for postdocs is only $46,000. It's very small. Um, so if you're accepting a job for $60,000, you're, for, for most of PhD level positions that are out there, you're getting paid twenty dollars to $30,000 less than you should be. You have to consider this um, before your job search even starts. Uh, also, what's the work-life balance? I can't tell you how many PhDs come up and say, I want to be a management consultant. And I tell them, well, you might have to fly over uh, to another country and stay there for three months until you finish a project. Uh, and they're like, well, what about my family? <laughs> I'm like, well, that's, that's the job, right? So you have to consider work-life balance. Another one is medical science liaison. So many people are like, I want to be a medical science liaison. And I said, okay, well, you're going to be traveling three, four, five days a week, every week, constantly in the air, 80% travel. Uh, and then they're like, oh, okay, I don't really like to travel. Or again, I have a family, whatever it might be. You just have to consider it. Uh, make sure you're considering work-life balance. Make sure you're considering location. The salary obviously can change a lot from South Dakota to London in the UK, right? Uh, to Australia, to Canada, wherever it is, you have to look up the compensation. Uh, even the career trajectory, the other job prospects that are in that city, right? So get location specific. And I want to bring it full circle and, and mention culture again. Company culture is so important. You should be asking culture questions, researching the culture of a company, because if you're not a good fit with the culture, it's going to be a disaster for both you and the company. So make sure you start looking into company culture. Make sure you read this article to get more information on all of these five points. If you have a comment or a question, please ask it uh, on the blog article at the end, or if, you, if you're watching this on Facebook, ask us in a comment on the Facebook post. And if you're watching it on YouTube, please ask us in a comment on YouTube. Until next week, remember your value as a PhD and start thinking and acting like a successful industry professional.